on. You know who my money's on. Us. Have you seen that defense? Yeah, OK. All right. Uh, hey, I'm just trying to uh, buy these. I think you may need one of these, too. <sighs> nah, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Enjoy the game. Hey! Into the right corner to Perry. Double clutch. Three caught it. Double clutched and nailed a tray from deep. I can't believe like I'm actually walking on this campus right now. Five on the shot clock, a one-man possession. He'll back out, fire a corner, three, drop it in. It just shows you that life comes full circle, and if you continue to believe in self, believe in God, and believe in those around you, like everything is going to work out. Shot clock expires, and Perry sends in a 30-footer. Are you kidding me? Summer of 07, I want to say right after they went to the tournament. I was dropped off here as a kid. I think I was eight years old. My cousin, Jeffrey Simpson, who played here, I know he had a record here for like the most blocks. One thing that I did was protected that, that glass. He was your host scorer, shot at a high percentage because he was getting the ball down on the blocks. Author of 119 swats in his career, a great shot blocker. A lot of guys broke that record. It took them four years. It only took me two. So that was a big, big accomplishment for me. I actually got dropped off here and didn't had no clue what Denton was, what it was about, anything. I took him to Golden Triangle Mall to get him some shoes, and uh, I actually took him to class with me. I toured the whole campus, watched him play pickup with a couple of guys. As a kid, as an eight-year-old who loved basketball, who wanted to always be around basketball, for somebody like Jeffrey to take me around campus and have me uh, give me that experience was like second to none. I felt like, you know, that was a good experience for him, a big cousin to a little cousin, you know just hanging out with me, letting them get that feel. I vividly remember seeing the pit, going on the court with him and just looking up in the Raptors and just looking around like amazed. As a seven, eight year old, you're thinking like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to come here. Wait, I got ball. You're not realizing that this is where I'll be 16 years from now. Take for granted sometimes the impact that a place and a program can have on a little kid. Growing up through high school, it was always in the back of my mind. Being under-recruited, you just never know what's going to happen. My senior year in high school, I was, at that point, I was just thinking like, man, just any Division One, please come get me. One more, Chris, one more. I was actually headed D2. My dad sat down and talked to me, and I ended up changing my mind and take the JUCO route. Tyler played at Coffinville Community College. Tyler had been a guy that we'd been following for a long time. When he was at Coffeeville, the head coach, Coach Herc, and the assistant, Coach Campbell, they called me about Tyler, and they just kept telling me how good he was playing, how well he was shooting it, obviously. Going that run and winning the national championship, and the things my teammates and my coaches did for me on that team to put me in a position to not only win the national championship, but win MVP, and then win our conference, it's second to none. His run in the national tournament and through that process of following him, felt like that, you know, his ability to win games, regardless of maybe the knocks on him, which would be his size, we felt like he was a great fit for us just because he knew how to win. Tyler will tell you, he, he always dreamed of playing at the Super Pit. That's an awesome thing to hear. One of the first times that in recruiting that I've heard somebody say my dream school is North Texas, which was a big reason why Tyler was somebody we really wanted to go after at the end of the day because we knew if this is really where he wants to be, then he's going to be great here. Tyler Perry challenges the big trees inside and scores. When we were talking to Tyler initially. It didn't really have a lot to do with Jeffrey. And then come to find out he'd always wanted to come to North Texas. Then I was, I flipped completely, maybe for a guy that thought, hopefully we can get him to like, this needs to be full court press. This is the one. I didn't expect him to come here. And, you know, I was excited. So, and I'm still excited because I know what type of jewel Coach Grant has. He's got an it factor to him and he's got a chip on his shoulder and he's competitive. We're one of four teams that have our lean score be off the bench and he's one of them. Outstanding recruiting. I mean, this is a guy that wins a national junior college title at Coffeeville. He's the MVP of the title game. We feel like that jump from junior college to, to this level really isn't huge. 
in regards to the competitiveness, but it is in regard to the details. Out front, Perry, great head fake. Gets an open three, knocks it down. I think we play a little bit slower than I did when we were in Kansas. You know, in Juco, you going out there, the ball is tipping, you you um, up and down for the next 40 minutes here. It's like, you know, you, you really detail every possession matters. Experience wins. We felt like with our team, it was best to give those returners you know, the opportunity, but as Tyler got more involved with our team, he didn't want to start. Coach Mack came to me earlier in the year and asked me, like, does it bother me that I don't start or do I feel like I should or whatever? And I told him, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. He's a reserve only in the fact that he comes off the bench normally at the, the first dead ball. So he's playing starters minutes and he's definitely contributing starter-like stats. He gets in and he makes something happen. You get to fill out the game a little bit faster than the players who start. Maybe getting to see how the defense plays or how the game is going, what type of flow it is. Whether they need me to play 30 minutes, 40 minutes, or 15 minutes, it's helping the team win. I just think he really cares about his team. Because of that, it's what allows him to, to be the leader that we need him to be. Seven on the shot clock, back outside. McBride to Perry, a catch and shoot three, and he drops it in. I try to do anything I can to help us win. And if they need me to go score 20 or need me to score two points and get six assists and six rebounds, that's what I try to do. Now we got that combo player who knows how to close games and can make free throws and kind of has that, I can make the big shot in a big moment. Because why he's proven it and won a national championship doing it. I'm just very thankful that he, you know, he believes in me to shoot the ball. My teammates believe in me to shoot the ball. I mean, why not? You hear you play, you, you work out, you do all these extra things, you know, to prepare yourself. So why not get in the game and take a few shots? You gotta have a guy that's willing to have the rock in his hand when it matters. That's where Tyler really works is he's not afraid of the moment. He's gonna be a star at North Texas and he's just a, he's a perfect fit. Perry for the lead, got it! Everybody loves the sunshine.